What's going on, people? I want to speak on triggered demons. Now, a couple of days ago, I did a video on Cardi B. And someone commented on the video and was saying, they were telling me that they disagree with me. And they were saying that the blood of Jesus could set the person free and whom the son sets free, you're, you're, you're free indeed. Of course, that is true, who the son sets free. You are free indeed. You are free indeed, whom the son sets free. Not everyone is set free. Christ did not set everyone free. Understand that. If you look at the case of Judas, Judas was handpicked. He was one of Christ's disciples. But yet, even Judas, Yeshua or Jesus called him a devil. Now, could have Judas repented? Of course. He could have been forgiven. He could have been set free. But because of the fact that he was a devil, by the words of Yeshua or Jesus, he said, one of you is a devil. He chosen or had chosen a devil. So even if that devil wanted to repent, he couldn't. Because even when he tried or made an attempt to make things right by returning the pieces of silver, the church or the preachers, the scribes and Pharisees were saying, we don't want that. That's blood money. So they were, they were fully aware of the fact that they was working with blood money. They said, we don't want that blood money. Now they became religious. They became too holy to accept the same money that they paid Judas to betray Christ. So when Judas tried to return it, he tried to make things right. They said, we don't want this blood money. And what Judas did was he was so far gone or so in deep that he ran and wept bitterly and he hanged himself. He committed suicide. See, so whom the son sets free, of course you are free indeed, but not everyone is set free. And when you tamper into witchcraft, into voodoo, when you sell your soul. Now, on that last video, I said that there's nowhere in the Bible where it tells you that you can sell your soul. Not in those words. But there is a scripture that says, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his own soul? And then it says, for what would a man give in exchange for his soul. So that's making pacts or agreements or contracts with the devil. And when you make an agreement or pact with the devil, when you quote unquote save your uh, or sell your soul. Now I know there's people out there that would say you can't sell what's not yours. But the Bible says, what would a man give in exchange for his soul? So when you make packs or deals or contracts with the devil, you yourself becomes a devil. You become like Judas. So even if you want to repent, you can't. You cannot muster up enough faith or strength to repent because you are so far gone. Now, I was watching this documentary and it was showing a lot of black women that have left the church, that have left Christianity and started following witchcraft. They became witches. Now, I find that quite strange and odd because when I grew up, we've always known witches to be evil. Even in the Wizard of Oz, you had the wicked witch. And then, of course, you had that so-called good witch. But according to the Bible, it says 
that you shall not suffer a witch to live. In other words, witches deserve death according to the Bible. So when you practice witchcraft or when you make pacts or deals with the devil, you yourself become a devil. So even if you want to repent, you can't. Because that demonic spirit that is now in possession of your soul will not allow you. It will block you from repenting. So it's interesting because we're in a time now where so many people are dealing with demonic entities. And instead of dealing with them according to what they are, they always want to give credit to mental health. So when someone is considered bipolar or schizophrenic and medical institutions can't treat a spiritual problem, the only thing they can do is institutionalize you or medicate you. When you're medicated, you're trapped in that realm. You're trapped from the beginning, but yet you're trapped even more now because that medication keeps you sedated. So you become even more and more ensnared to the point where you're being tormented from within, but yet outside the medication makes you calm. And it makes you seem or appear like you're in control. In the case of Cardi B, if she was serious and this, if this was not some type of publicity stunt, she's crying out for help. But now she knows that there is no help for her. So you have people that dabble into witchcraft and voodoo and Santeria. And at the appointed time, the demons within them become triggered, especially if someone prays with you, if you try to pray, if you try to study the word, if you go to church, those demons will be triggered. And there's a lot of tr uh, triggered demonic forces out there. It's not by coincidence that we read articles where you find someone that's possessed decides to kill a child because they think the child has demons or they're trying to kill the demon in the child or the mother will take their child and murder their children because they think that she thinks her children have demons. That's not by coincidence. And a lot of that is happening because of the fact that so many women and men have opened portals to the demonic realm and you have demons coming in and out, possessing, and you, you see the results even in your children. Let me share a quick story with you. Just this week, I was dealing with this situation where someone I know um, this female that he's dealing with uh, tried to root him. It's a Puerto Rican girl. They're into Santeria. And she had this, this jar. And I was going to post the image on the internet, but she had this jar with these nails in it. Uh, it looked like some melted um, candle wax. She had nails, she had razor blades, she had something that looks like uh, an animal or an aborted fetus inside this thing, and it, it stunk horrifically. And her family member gave it to her to bury. Now, this young woman is diagnosed with bipolar, but yet she has names for every one of the personalities that have taken possession of her. There's names. And her husband now can tell the difference between each personality. There's one that's like a dude. And then there's one that's real humble. But 
her moms gave her this thing, and this female was saying that a lot of people were going to die. And that she was concerned about her husband and didn't want her husband to get hurt. So they took this, she took this jar and buried it. And I had them, or I had the guy go get the jar and destroy it. I had him destroy it. And I, you know, said prayers over him and whatnot and over his family or whatnot. So, you know, try to break that curse that's on them. But you wonder why your children are so out of order. You wonder why your children are having nightmares that's hearing voices telling them to do things. You're hearing voices telling you to do things. In my humble opinion, it's because of the fact that you tampered into something you had no business dealing with. You open portals in your home and it's affecting your family. So now we have so many quote unquote mentally ill people out there that's bipolar. Everybody's diagnosed with bipolarism or schizophrenia. That's no more than possession, dealing with multiple personalities. So those demons that you hear talking or telling you that to do things, that's because you tampered into some, something or someone close to you tampered into something or someone might have been trying to hurt you. Whoever these people were that they were trying to hurt or harm was in some serious trouble. And hopefully we stopped them from being harmed or hurt. Because according to that female, one of those spirits was speaking out and was talking about how uh, their, her, it, its wings, I'm gonna call it its, its wing was clipped. One of the wings was clipped. And it was saying how many people are going to die because of that jar that was made up, that Santeria jar that stunk. And they said that when they broke it, there was a horrific smell like they never smelled before that came out of it. You know, so um, you have to really be careful because a lot of times you're sleeping with the enemy. Your child might be the enemy. Your moms might be the enemy, especially if they're calling themselves into Wicca, ancestral religions, calling on the dead ancestors that they don't even know. The Bible says it's appointed man wants to die. And after that, the judgment. So they're not dealing with an ancestor. They're not dealing with a relative. They are dealing with unclean spirits, demonic forces, a realm that they opened up, especially if they're into uh, mirror magic, you know, uh, Santeria, voodoo, witchcraft. It's all the same. Just different levels you're dealing with. So it's funny that if you listen to the police scanner, you're going to hear that there are so many people that are hearing voices. So many people now are talking about demons and hearing demons and voices are telling them to do things. And now we hear cases where people are killing children, sacrificing children. I'm going to use the word sacrifice. They're sacrificing children. And they're harming people, family members, because they say the spirits spoke to them. You have entities now that's possessing human beings and acting out things. And these are spirits that have already passed on or demonic forces that's from the unseen now that can't operate unless it's possessing a body. And you open yourself up to that. And then you think that you can play with that. And then the blood of Christ is going to save you. You're sadly mistaken. Yes, whom the sun sets free, you are free indeed, but not everyone is set free. Judas was not set free. Yeshua or Jesus referred to him as the devil. And when Judas, he knew what Judas was going to do. He told Judas, do what you're going to do. And Judas quickly ran out. 
betrayed him. And then when he tried to make things right, he couldn't. That spirit within him that was controlling him would not allow him to repent. And that demon took him quickly, did not give him a chance to repent. That's what happened to Whitney Houston. Those spirits did not give her a chance to repent. She ran back to the church, got back in the choir, tried to sing her way into paradise. And they found her in a bathtub. So there are a lot of triggered demons out there that you opened up, that you've opened portals in your own home. Excuse me. <coughs> in your own home. And you're harming your own family. So feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe until next time. I'm fearless.